Hello everyone and welcome back to JDD TV. I'm your host for today, Josh Deming, and we are back with another episode of Canadians Abroad. Now plenty happened this past weekend, so sit back and let's talk about it. Jonathan David continues his fine form in Ligue 1 as he scored a brace in Lille's dominant 4-0 win this past weekend. His first goal was a thing of beauty, a great run with a perfect finish. David's second goal was a bit of a gift, but he will take it. He now has six goals in his past eight matches and is up to eight goals in the league this season with 13 in all competitions. Now, speaking of Jonathan David, it does look like David and Kyle Lahren have created a podcast, so that is definitely something that Canadian fans should keep an eye on. Theo Bear is in the form of his life right now as he scores once again with a composed finish and a 1-1 draw for Motherwell. In Bear's last four matches, he has five goals and one assist, and is now up to seven goals and two assists so far this season. Bear is doing everything right to push his way into that Canada conversation with his form. In a recent interview I did with him, he told me that he is eligible for Jamaica, but he can only see himself playing for Canada at the moment. Lucas Cavallini scored his second goal of the season in a 3-2 win for Puebla over Mazatlan. It was a great finish as well, and so far the decision to return to his former club has been a smart one. He is playing well and looks very confident and is definitely still in the Canada conversation. Highly rated 21-year-old Canadian attacking midfielder Lucas Diaz has joined Cavalry FC on loan from Sporting for the 2024 season. This exciting youngster will have a big opportunity to get significant minutes this season in the Canadian Premier League and will definitely be a player to keep an eye on. It was a top of the table clash as Roma defeated Juventus 3-1 to take an 8 point lead over their title rivals, with Evelyn Vienne scoring once again as she picked up her 7th league goal of the season, which means she is now tied in 1st place with 4 other players in the scoring race. Now I do have some bad news to share as it's been reported that Alfonso Davies was diagnosed with a strained MCL in his left knee and will have to take a break. It's unsure right now about the severity of the injury, but it does look like Davies will miss a couple of weeks after picking up that knee injury in Bayern's 2-1 win over Gladbach. Davies did have a very good match against Gladbach, and Canadian fans will be hopeful that he will recover quickly, especially with Canada's Copa America qualifier coming up in March. As I reported last week, Theo Corbiano did make his permanent transfer to Granada and already made his La Liga debut over the weekend in a 1-1 draw for them, coming on for the final 27 minutes. That was a valuable point earned for Granada as they're in the middle of a heated relegation battle, but no matter what happens, whether they stay up or go down, the fact that Corbiano gets to play six months in La Liga will be very important for him. Adriana Leon is finding a bit of form right now for Austin Villa as she found the back of the net once again scoring her third WS goal of the year. On top of that, she put in a great shift as well which is encouraging considering that the Gold Cup is fast approaching. Olivia Smith cannot be stopped right now as she scored in her fifth straight game for Sporting and did so in style. She hammered home an absolute rocket from well outside the box and now is up to 8 goals and 7 assists so far in her first season as a pro. This 19 year old has a very bright future ahead of her. The Vancouver Whitecaps have added another piece at the back after signing center back Bilal Halbuni on a deal through 2025 with an option for 2026. This came after he impressed during preseason and he will be a great addition for them at the back because they need some more depth there. I hope everyone enjoyed the latest edition of Canadians Abroad and if you did, as always, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub and we'll see you for next week's update.